VHSX? What do you mean? All right, we're back. We're playing some Freddy today. We're actually bringing back a, a build that we haven't uh, used in quite some time to kind of see what the results are and to kind of see if we can get some value out of the uh, sort of infinite gen blocking build that we made for Freddy. So off the bat here, um, we have corrupt active so we can get a good start. We see Nia just standing on the hill. We're not really focused on them. They're not on a generator. But these two over here are next to the generator. So that's what we want to at least get into chase um, with one of those people. So we swing immediately so we can just push that pallet out. Um, with a build like this, we don't really have a lot of uh, a lot of chase potential. So arguably, well not arguably, you kind of add, it's not even arguably at all. You have to, you have to get these pallets out because you, it, you already don't have a, a, a chase perk on. Because it's, it's uh, a specifically gen focused um, blocking kind of build, you need to get downs in order to get them activated, right? Because obviously you get one for, you know, yet two of them are on hook and one of them is off of picking up a down person. So um, I figure we just go, we just have to immediately get into a chase um, with somebody within a good position um, here because you don't want to be within a blocked uh, generator's position. So we at least got a free hit on the. Claudette, but we did we did see somebody on the generator. Um, that's why we're kind of keeping an eye out. But uh, because I was trying to look within the area there, I kind of lost track of the of where they ran out to. So that's why we vault in here to try to force them to go toward the pallet, maybe maybe drop it, which is what we wanted. Um, and then we uh, we just we have to keep walking because I noticed that they're gonna stay within the range, they're gonna stay within the area. So I figure I don't have any enduring brutal strength or anything. So I have to immediately just go for the down. Um, but of course, yet holding W, they can still reach a new one, which is insane. Um, so that's why we go ahead and just immediately down them there. Um, and then now we're able to at least be able to see uh, which is being blocked um, and which is not. We can then start faking the teleport. Um, and then we get Grim Embrace to activate. So they didn't let the gen go, so that's why Dead Man's didn't activate there. We literally need to force this pallet out as well. They're like doing crouching, thinking that's gonna throw somebody off. Like no one's gonna fall for that. We're just trying to get these pallets out. So that's why we immediately um, get rid of that one. Now here is where we we're trying to kind of get an idea of what's what's about to happen because we have to play this very smart um, because we can definitely see that these uh, survivors are definitely coming here to win. So. We notice, okay, they're closing in for a save. Just immediately hit Claudette because you know they have Dead Hard or off the record or some nonsense. And you got like two people trying to bait for a chase, um, trying to get them to play their game. We're not going to play that. We're playing our game. We were focusing on who we want to get out of the game, which is going to be Claudette right now. We knew she was going to go for the vault, and that'll immediately get us the, the down. But of course, you know, I guess Amos just decided not to give me the hit there. Uh, we, go the, we go for the down now. Now they fell in front of a wall, so that's why we face it. We move as close as we can to the wall, and then we immediately um, go for that. Now we have—I had a feeling that they would maybe try to body block or sabo. That's why I wanted to kind of go in a random direction, go for the hook there, and then uh, we didn't really have a chance to see because we didn't really have uh, thrilling tremors activating because it was still on cooldown, unfortunately. So that's really unfortunate. Um, but we do have them right where we need them to be because we finally have to get somebody off the second save. They're immediately rushing for a save. Guess what we go after again? We go after Claudette. We notice, okay, she just doesn't really have um, off the record. We knew she was going to double back. And we just continue to go after her because she's in an area with basically nothing. We're going to try to close in for body blocks. We just walk right around it because you got to see. you got to remember, the survivors want them to play their game, not your game. They're like, oh, no, you should play and I want to hook everyone and play fairly. That's not what we're doing here because we're already playing an M1 killer. We're already playing um, a, with no chase perks. We're already playing with a lot of a lot of things against us right now. So we have to try to leverage the game to our side. You know it's a swift. You know it's sweating. Um, you can just tell. You know what I'm saying? You can just tell by the, the by the tone in the match. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough one, especially with a map like this. It's going to be a tough one. So that's all we have to use. We have to, as you see, like boom, boom. We're already at three gens. Even with the blocking that we did, it's not enough. Um, which I accidentally, you know, moved to the side to try to respect the pallet. That was not something I should have done, because um, that then cost me a couple extra seconds that I could have just used to get rid of the pallet. Now, as you notice, I'm not gonna break down that wall because they can easily rotate off of that and climb up the stairs, and that's what we don't want. 
So I stayed within proximity, trying to bait them to think I'm still following them or something like that. Because you got to remember, they can't see me from a certain range, but they can hear me. So that kind of allowed them to drop down, but I just did not know where they ran off to. Um, which it turned out, they kind of ran over to the gen, apparently. I don't know how they managed to do that uh, without me seeing any scratch marks at all. But I was like, okay, that's a little weird. Um, but as you're going to see here, that uh, we try to at least mind game in here, but I realized I can't, I can't mind game it because they're just always going to see me and always going to be able to make the pallet. So it's not, it's not really a threat. Um, unfortunately, so that's why we, we immediately started faking the teleport there to bait them to, to, to come out uh, of the jungle gym and now we're running to an area where they think that the pallet is there and this is the strength of the dream pallet that's why we, we use it so often because as you see they try to like go backwards and, and, and uh, you know use that stupid like long range prompt they get on pallets um, you know thankfully we're able to you know use that to our advantage they lock them into that animation with that pallet that doesn't affect us um, and they already knocked out another gen. So, as you can see, they're hyper efficient. We're doing the best we can with the blocking that we're doing. Um, thankfully, we're still in range, so we're able to at least kick this generator, and then we step out of range to get Grim Embrace to activate. That buy us a little bit of time, because we weren't really able to see uh, the other gen off of Thrilling Tremors. It definitely needs a buff. Gladys trying to bait for a chase. We don't care about that. We need to force um, them to come for a save, come for a trade, come for something so I can actually... Uh, leverage the game, um, you know, further to my side because we have one on the hook. As you see, boom, another one comes for the save. Keep trying to shine the lights for no reason. That's exactly what we want. We vault in, um, which probably shouldn't have done that. I, I think I lost a little bit of distance doing that. Um, they do end up, and Jesus, they like, I'm even looking at it now. I'm like, they're kind of fast, like, or maybe it's just map structure because they're just running and making everything without a hitch. It's kind of insane. Um, but I figure, you know, now I can actually trade out the hooks because now Saga's in a bad position. Um, Thrilling Tremors is actually getting off cooldown, so that's why you break the pallet on that side. Um, I probably should have actually broken it on the side that they were on, but they also had access to Shaq, and that's, it's just not a good situation to be in. So that's why we just kind of split pressure. We're like, alright, cool, we, just, we got the hit, we're just gonna go over here. You see, this one's waiting, because I've been faking the teleport. Now, it's still a really bad position because main building is still quite powerful considering the fact. Like, they can, and as you can see, a survivor can walk and still fast vault, which I, I, I'm still confused as to how that makes any sense. But whatever. Um, either way, we got the pickup here right before they crawled under the pallet. We know that, they, that they're not, there's not going to really, really be anyone around because of the fact that one of them is wasting time waking up instead of going for a save or anything like that. Claudette's on the uh, generator, so that's why we can then walk over and get it blocked with dead man's. Um, she's gonna immediately run to the easiest loop in the map. Of course, it's, uh, of course it's Shaq. You know what I'm saying? And anyone can run it. So that's why we're not really too worried about it. But if we can at least pull the pallet out of it, which is exactly what we wanted to do, um, but we don't really waste time trying to kick and get blinded because I figure I gotta jump right into the chase with the uh, Nia again because we're, we're just very behind. We need time. Um, we need we need time, and and obviously getting the uh, the uh, Nia grab here is a great thing, um, which works out. But of course, DS as per usual is always a perk, um, and uh, thankfully, you know what I'm saying, we're at least able to catch up again. Um, now they are running toward the pallet, so we're just gonna have to go for the swing anyway because it's a pallet that's perfectly connected to that shack window, so. It's really just not great. It's it's really not great to, to, to have that pallet there, but at least we were able to get the down and eliminate them from the game. Um, so that's good for us. They get the down there. We had to start immediately faking that so we know um, where they're gonna go, which um, it seems like they're probably hiding or something like that from what I can tell. As you can see with the walking nonsense, so you already know that they're going to be uh, kind of waiting. Now we break the pallet. Uh, about there to kind of force them uh, to a different direction. Um, obviously, we didn't want to break it on the other side because of the fact that um, it'll give them the whole map. So that's why we want to kind of like break uh, break the pallet on the, right, the, the side that I did, just to try to get a little extra distance. But they're of course trying to bait for a chase, bait for a chase. I'm like, yeah, I just need to find where the saga is because I'm not worried about this Claudette that much. When it's going to take me two M1s, when I could easily just take one. So that's why we're not really focused too much on it. Um, now, I figure that we can at least get them to vault, which of course they did. They're not really looking behind themselves, so we just immediately force that pallet out. 
Um, which is just what we're focused on, especially with uh, with when you don't have chase perks. You just gotta gotta get these pallets out, no matter no matter what it is. Especially as an M1 killer, you gotta force them out. You gotta get them out of there. Is <laughs> they're gonna be the biggest obstacle? Um, because a lot of pallets are very strong. So there's not a lot you can uh, do, especially um, when you don't have a, a chase ability. So Gen flies. I mean, that was inevitable. Like it wasn't really much you could uh, could have done there. Even with it being blocked and regressing, didn't even matter. So I figured, all right, well, we can immediately go for the M1 on Claudette here. You're just, they're not going to be able to make that, uh, which is good. Um, which I was kind of surprised I actually made that because a lot of the time it just doesn't let you make it. I don't know if that was just due to like like the structure of the shacks. Because they do differ um, depending on the map. Um, some a little bit bigger than others. So I think because McMillan is, uh, you know, one of the more original shacks, you know, that actually makes sense. Um, we're able to get some value there. So we just placed down, placed down that gene tower behind us because, you know, distance following us around slamming down pallets and stuff like that. Um, and that's what we're focused on, right? Now, we got them right where we want them. Um, Claudette's just gonna start walking for some reason. I don't know what their big strategy was, but they just ended up falling down anyway. Um, and then we just go for the pickup. We're like, all right, cool. You know, we can we can at least start to uh, call the game, you know, over. And yet, of course, unbreakable. As per usual, there's always a perk. So now we have to then go find Saga because I'm not going to uh, hook Claudette for no reason and then end up make, extending the game even longer. It's not. It's a waste of my time and a waste of yours as the viewers. So that's why we're trying to be like, you know, let's just get this out. Let's get let's get Saga out of here. So I hear them. I see them up top. So this is what we do. We go ahead and follow through uh, with them upstairs. Now, I haven't been up to this part, so I'm going to have to break down this wall. Um, but keep in mind, right, like, we are we're, we're our playing Freddy. So it is a little bit more difficult to kind of spot him at range. So we are able to just kind of swing out there, prevent ourselves from staggering. Um, and then we just kind of go around because we figure we actually see some scratch marks, blood, and stuff like that. So we can immediately, um, which I wasn't, <laughs> I actually accidentally teleported there. I didn't really mean to to do that but that actually does kind of throw them off because of our footwork and then we immediately can get them on a hook now because the claudette had decided to kind of crawl off um into the sunset we just kind of waited over the hatch um until basically until they they, uh, they kind of just died so um that's what we did there because i wasn't about to give them yet another chance to get away you know what i'm saying like i figure with a match that was this difficult, I, you know, I worked hard, you know what I'm saying, I deserved my 4k, you know what I'm saying, I did what I, I did what I had to do. So that's, a, that's what, uh, that's what I had done to make sure that we don't, you know, give them an option, you know. And then we didn't break, we didn't close the hatch either, we waited on it until they died, and then we closed it. Because, you know, um, you can still get the points for it while also simultaneously uh, making sure they're out of the game, which is really good. Um, and you'll see that um, in a second. So you'll see right here that we're waiting till the bar is at the very last pixel, and then we still get credit for closing the hatch. It could help with maybe a hatch challenge to close it, or just to get those little extra like points, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it probably doesn't matter that much, but it is something you can definitely do to, to get the most amount of value from it, you know, just to min-max the hatch, if you will. Just to ignore the, uh, the adrenaline play. Which thankfully, uh, which Claudette apparently did have adrenaline, so I was actually able to avoid that. I don't know which Claudette it was though, but one of them did. I think that was the one, so let's dive right in. And there you go. Um, who would have thought? I actually countered their, their adrenaline play, because I'm not going to pick them up and allow them to get away for free. So that's why we get then I go ahead and use that. So we're now we're on the Swamp map. Um, definitely a much tougher map than a McMillan map would be. A lot of hills, a lot of grass, makes it really hard to see. The loops are pretty brain dead, not really that great um, to play on, so that's why we're going to try to dive right in with this one. Now, with, with, with a pal like this, as you can see, they make plenty of rotations and I can barely get the M1 in the first place. And uh, they just greeted it anyway. So, I mean, it's it's overall like not really a great situation. They did drop that one down, so we just immediately run around it, break it on that side to keep it zoned. Um, then we replace it with the Dream Palette. And then we just continue to zone them from that side. Now the only problem is obviously due to the structure of the ship and also because of the fact that there's yet another pallet spawn there. We have to then break that as well. <laughs> so 
Not really the easy to mind game. They were hiding in the corner for whatever reason, so that does give me the opportunity to get the easy down. We get the pick up here, and then we can start using thrilling tremors to show us where we kind of have to go from here. So, we go ahead and place them on the hook right there. We turn around. We see, okay, those are the gems that are being worked on. We're going to go ahead and fake the teleport there. Get that man to activate. Thrilling turns off. Then we get Grim Embrace to activate. So, you kind of chain it together in a way to get the most amount. Um, we're also placing a couple of Dream Pallets in the ship, which is probably not necessary. Um, I probably didn't really have to do that. But it's fine. It's really not uh, not the end of the world, really. It, it, it could throw somebody off. So they're really closing in for the save. That's when we start going after the Claudette, if possible. That is sort of the more optimal play. Um, but they, but you know, the swamp really makes it very hard to track where they kind of ran off to because there's a lot of grass, mud, hills, and all this other com combined it makes it very hard to track. So we do at least be we're at least able to kind of tell. All right, they're going in this path here. But uh, unfortunately, this structure is quite powerful, as you can see here. It's they have yet another pallet spawn connected to like a seawall type of structure. So, and then it's also right next to a TNL. So it's like, yeah, like we're not gonna get an easy M1 here. Um, we're really gonna have to work our 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 buns off to get a get a good M1 here. So they vault into Shack. I figure I I can't keep chasing that. It's already lost a generator for it. Um, we start going for Ace here, and um, this sort of accentuates, like, this brings up the point that I want to accentuate that, um, that I want to accentuate that the uh, Grim Brace really has not, it's really not a great perk. <laughs> it's really quite weak um, compared to other slowdown uh, options. Um, thrilling is also very weak, as you can probably assume. Like, it's, it's really just an information uh, perk with blocking instead of aura. Um, and as you're gonna see here, like, this gen is 99. And, uh, you're gonna also see in a second that the, uh, the other gen is also 99. Once we get over there, um, you're gonna see that as well. That, that, like, there was at least two gens 99. Um, even with our blocking, even with what we're trying to do here, um, and they don't necessarily, these people don't have to necessarily loop even remotely optimally because of the fact that they, uh, um, have just the map structure, <laughs> like this gen, boom, 99 as well, like this, so we're at two gens already, um, and we barely got here, so, it's like, sheesh, like, Grim Embrace only gives you about 12 seconds, Dead Man's gives you 30, and then I think Thrilling gives you 16, um, and, uh, keep in mind that these things are not necessarily the easiest things to get, because obviously you need to get a down very fast, and then you need to be able to pick up, immediately hook, and then be able to pick the teleport, and then, you know, kind of chain everything. So the chain, as interesting as it is, uh, is kind of weak in that sense. Like, if you're going against a tougher lobby where it's a four-man, sweating, comms, all toolboxes, like, trying to uh, do call-outs and all that kind of stuff, coming in there to be sweaty, this build is not going to hold up. Like, you don't have enough cooldown um on your perks to really get the most amount of value because all these things um but at least two perks take too long to recharge um because of the fact that well thrilling takes a full 60 seconds so that's a one whole entire minute before you can get uh information again so that's already terrible I'm like they need to they need to buff thrilling i don't know um what else to say to that i mean maybe make a 30 second cooldown give it maybe a longer longer like slowdown because keep in mind it only blocks the gens that aren't being repaired so it's not even a slowdown per se it's it's information <laughs> so it's not it's not great um but uh dead man's is fine grim is just like you only get like what 12 seconds of slowdown which i've heard uh i've heard one uh, another creator had said something like, "Oh, you get like Grim Embrace is good. You get like 12 seconds. That's a lot if you add them all up." I'm like, "Yeah, but that that's 12 seconds per hook. <laughs> like 12 seconds per hook. So if you're playing, say, an M1 killer, 12 seconds is not a long time. <laughs> like it's really not. So." Um, as you can also see, a very, very tough map. The, they, they definitely came in here to sweat, um, and that's obviously what we kind of have to do in a situation like this. 
um, which is sort of why I just kind of play it the way I, I really want to play it. As you can see, yet another gen is already done. So we're pretty much at one gen-ish, pretty much. So we're kind of against the ropes here, and that's how we have to kind of use what we have. As you can see, one gen. We are pretty much against the ropes here, um, and we have to utilize whatever strategy we can to at least make something happen here. Now, because of the fact it took an extra second or two to, to finally get the pickup, because for some reason they were just, just out of my range, um, you know, obviously they already get the free pickup, and then of course there's two people with flashlights. Um, kind of ridiculous. But I figure we need to find uh, where the saga went, which once again, I would probably have been on them sooner if we weren't on Swamp. Um, because of the fact that it's just a fact, like, tall grass, mud, I, you can't, I can't see half of these people, bro. Like, we're, we're not even crouched. Like, we're walking at normal, like, at, at a normal height. <laughs> we're just not able to see that well. It's like, bro, what? Um, so we just get to down there, um, which is which is fine. And I figure this is the opportunity to try to get a third Grim Embrace stack. But keep in mind, like I've said before, it's only 12 seconds. Um, it's sort of to try to chain it all together so you can have Dead Man's and Grim kind of combine a little bit. Um, so that you're able to get, like, uh, like you can kind of throw in the 30... Like, like about about 16 seconds are going to be used by, De by Grim, so you're going to kind of give it an extra 16 or so. Um, because it's a 30 second thing, so I'm not really doing the whole equation in my mind or anything like that, but, uh, but overall, I'm tr I was trying to run, Gr uh, Dead Man's to help aid Grim, because I knew Grim's, like, slowdown is not long enough. Um, because you need to get four entire tokens before you even get the effect of Dead Man's switch, um, not Dead Man's, um, Deadlock instead on, like, every gen, which is not great. Um, especially with the, with the, uh, current... Uh, kind of like lobbies that I at least get. It's a lot of the, you know, four men, song comms, sweating, toolboxes, like, the whole nines. Um, so it's, it, it's not that effective against that. Um, and it unfortunately is kind of map dependent. So if you're on Swamp or like Erie or something like that, it's going to be a bit of a struggle because you don't have a, really a chase uh, ability to kind of aid you to kind of give you those sounds a little bit sooner. So it's, it's a pure footwork kind of build and it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a, definitely a challenge. Now, do I recommend it for the low MMRs, the mid MMR? Hell yeah! Like you know what I'm saying? If you don't really play Freddy that often, hell yeah, that'll be, it'll be fun, right? It's, it's like a good, uh, fun kind of, you know, build you can kind of try out. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the most useful, you know, build you're ever gonna run. Um, and keep in mind also, like you know, that. Uh, I also kind of made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I shouldn't have been going for Ace. Just kept my eyes on the prize. Um, but still, we're at least able to try to go after the Zarina here because I knew that, that all of them were going to be trying to close in for a save. So this gave me it really gives me the opportunity to at least go for somebody else. Be get thrilling to activate, and then from there, this is what we do. We look around. We're like, all right, cool. The gen should be blocked. We're going to keep a, take a quick look around, see what the vibes are. We're like, all right, that's the gen. Um, and thankfully, because Freddy's teleport would automatically hire, uh, highlight the one that you're going to be working, um, that they're going to be working on, you can then get Dead Man's to activate, and then from there you can start to uh, go for the teleport, kind of save a little bit of time. Now, thankfully, we're able to get the Easy M1 there. It's good, but we can't really commit to it too much because that gen is 99, as I as I've been saying this whole match. <laughs> Every, all those damn gens are like, literally about to go. So this is in this situation. I figured I'm gonna have to stop, uh, wait for Dead Man to to uh, deactivate, kick it, let it regress, and then from there I'll be able to uh, try to start a chase again. But uh, with further testing, as I've said, like this build is quite uh, situational in that sense. You just need to be on a map that isn't like completely one-sided, i.e., Survivor. Um, if you were more so on like Macmillan, you know, maybe like Midwit RPD, etc., like you will be able to get a bit of a better value, I'd say. Um, but if we're talking like Eerie of Crows, The Swamp, maybe Garden of Joy, depending on which one, um, Maybe Springwood, you might be able to get some value. Like, Springwood isn't too bad for an M1 killer, I would argue. Like, it's not that bad. I'm just, like, it can be bad, but it's not 
as like immediately like oh you like the game's already over from the from the start like area of crows like area of crows is like yeah that game's already over like you're not you're not making it um normally right like if you're just if, uh, unless you're like really really good with your killer like if you know your killer then you can make it happen as i which i'll probably put out a video for that like just showcasing my uh, ghost face on those maps but anyway Enough of that. Okay, cool. So as you can see here, Ace is like trying to, I guess, BM or something like that. You know, they tend to get really cocky over things that they have no control over, like gen speeds, um, being as fast as they are, and uh, and chase potential, which mostly has to do with the map and not necessarily necessarily their skill. But either way, he got he got hit anyway. That's really good for us. We can obviously try to find like somebody. Um, and then try to chain the blocks again, but we figure, like, in this situation, everybody's injured. There are, at least one of them's going for a heal, so that gives the gens time to go down. Um, which is good. They're trying to reset, they think, okay, yeah, like, we're at one gen. Like, they're kind of leaning back now, and that gives you, um, the option, the, the opportunity to start to get some, some pressure going. So that's why we go ahead and check on the generator. Um, and that's why we're just kind of just staying within our little spread here. It's not the greatest, it's really not, but... We have to do what we can. Um, now we do find them out, out of position here because they're trying to rush out the gen. Um, which means we can just easily get the down and this actually confirms our uh, our kill here. Now I knew Saga was in the area because I wasn't chased with them. That's why I did a little spin around and I got gone for the pickup. And then from there we realize like now that Claudette's out of the game. Um, I can easily teleport here and uh, go for the ace here. I'm not sure like what that was. It looked like he dead hard or something. Um, which I think that's why I tried to swing away from him so he doesn't get the uh, the free endurance hit. Um, but uh, what I do here is, I do, which was a pretty solid uh, mind game because I figured he would at least try to go for the, uh, the next vault, but he actually just went for a completely different vault, which was weird. So I was able to at least get down from there. And this was actually my fourth stack of Grim Embrace, that's why I decided to try to try to uh, teleport there, but I forgot that I don't have uh, Thrilling Active. As a, it's still on cooldown somehow. I, good lord. <laughs> it needs a, like, that perk needs a buff, dude. <laughs> that perk needs a buff. Um, but, you know, we try to go for Ace because, you know, he's injured. He's getting Aura, so at, that from Grim Embrace, um, which is nice, I guess. That's a little aspect, I guess, nobody really re really realizes. I didn't, I forgot it even had that uh, that feature where it just like it, it reveals the <laughs> the obsession for some reason. I don't know why. It's really random. But uh, you know, the aura would have been better like later on because uh, don't really see them at all anymore. So they just kind of flew off. That's why we turn back around and look for Saga because the gens are blocked for quite a good amount of time. Um, and that's why we go for Saga, because I realized, wait, like, they're, like, the Ace might be attempting to go for a save for so it's actually pretty easy to do. So, that's what we go for, uh, Saga. Try to knock him down. So, that's what we're going for here. Now, obviously, um, they're trying to lead me away from the generators, but thankfully it was blocked for a good amount of time, and then we'll actually go for the pickup again. <laughs> Thrilling Tremors will then show me where the gen is. Um, right when we, that's why we took a look around and look, alright, so that's what they are. And then from there, um, we'll just start to go for the teleport, which Deadman's, uh, should still be active. Which, weirdly enough, for some reason, the gen wasn't blocked, despite them letting go of the, uh, the generator. So I don't know if there's, like, some kind of, like, bug or something with their perks or something. I don't know what happened there. That was a little weird. Um, but, uh, we were at least able to get the free down on the ace, so... Give him the little nod so he knows what the vibes are. And then we can uh, go ahead and put him on the uh, the hook. So we're going to take a quick look at the builds as well. Which, uh, which, which with these perks, it doesn't, it really doesn't make a lot of sense how the gens are flying so quickly. Um, but that just kind of goes to show you that the uh, speeds are just fundamentally uh, not in a great position. So we end up on a yet another match. This will be the final one for the video. I just thought I'd throw in a third one. Um, so we just we can get like a good a good amount of matches with this build here. Now, right off the bat, we break down that wall. We place we uh, we don't actually place down that that dream pallet because I figure that it's just going to be way too close to a regular one. But we put them into positions that are a little bit more likely that there be a, a pallet spawn to try to throw them off. 
Um, and uh, that's why you put one in um, by those chairs and stuff like that, because you know that, that it tends to spawn there. Now, we uh, noticed that there's somebody in this area, so we're going to try to at least force out the pallet. We actually got the, the easy uh, like uh, event lunge, which is really good. I was actually really able to get um, some very solid, um, solid hit from that, which is great. Now, we try to fake the teleport there to see, to kind of like push them into a different direction. Um, it seems like they're trying to go all the way to the back for some reason to vault, which I find a little strange. Um, and they just kind of run over here, which unfortunately is yet a real pallet with a really <laughs> with a big rock they could use. So we just have to get that out of the way. We just have to clear it. It's not really a lot of options in that sense. Um, and then the gen's already done. So there you have it. <laughs> that, that off the bat there, it's like, it's, that's insane. Um... But I figure I just have to commit to the chase here because that's the only way we're gonna get any perk value. Um, so they're trying to go at they're trying to go at it the way they want to do it. That's what we don't do. We vault in to force them to make this bad vault, which of course they somehow made the fast vault. I don't know how, but I was like, all right, you just got it at that point. So that's why we fake it, vault in, and then we force the uh, the pallet out. Now, if I had enduring, that would have been a down. But we're not using that. <laughs> not using our build. So I was like, well, I gotta leave the chase, I guess. <laughs> like I can't uh, that would have been a down. <laughs> Woo! We, we don't have a we don't have our perks. <laughs> so that 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 uh that kinda sucked. Um You know, that kinda sucked honestly, because this map is it's not great uh for M1s. M1 killers personally. At least not great for me at least. I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, too M1 killer friendly, it's very gigantic. So, if you don't have mobility, good luck. Um, and this is also, uh, I would consider a god palette. It's very, 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 very hard to, to really get the value off of it. Which, thankfully, we got rid of it early. Um, Nancy got fully healed automatically. Ready to die was coming. Already awake and stuff like that. Uh, we're not, and we already had three gens. So, <laughs> like, we already have, like, a really bad start. Um, but the game ain't over yet, right? That's why we're like, alright, we need to try to, you know, buckle down. We gotta do what we gotta do. Um, and obviously the Yui's is kind of just running around. And, uh, probably to go comp corner. I'm, I'm, like, the way that they're going, you're like, you're like, yeah, this is probably a comp corner play. Like, they're trying to, they're trying to sweat a little bit here. So that's why we get thrilling. We show it. So we're like, alright, cool. We start faking the teleport. Um, and then that'll get them off of it. And then we walk away. Greg can embrace the chain it. So it stays blocked, um, which is nice. I mean, I should place a fake uh, pallet up there, you know, being pretty tactical with our with our dream pallets, of course. Now we also start faking the teleport on a different generator, maybe to get a little extra, you know, block in there. But it seems like there's at least two gens that got blocked for a little bit, so that's good for us. Um, that's that's honestly what we're looking for, you know what I'm saying? That's honestly what we uh, what we want to see, and that's the best uh, way to chain it. Now, I think with more time maybe dedicated to this build, you might be able to get, like, maybe more value than I have been. Um, but coming back to the build, I figure it just isn't as strong as, as when it first released, I would say. I just think it, I think people just adapted to uh, Grim Embrace, and it does accentuate its weaknesses. Now, Lori is, like, trying to force the body block to try to bait me to, to, to give the UE free distance. I'm not doing that. Um, so, that, and we also step on the boon in case it was exponential. So you don't randomly, you know, want some... Uh, some free uh, pickup there. Now, of course, Thrilling is off of cooldown. They, I think they might have a flashbang and also a Sabo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we're trying to make our way over without going for an M1. They, of course, had a flashbang, but you know, even then, I just I, they have breakout too. So they already have like insane gen speed and a flashbang and probably breakout and also the Sabo. Like it, it was insane. I was like, yo, like this is a lot for like one person, bro. Like what is happening? Um, now thankfully, Dream Pallet value, <laughs> now we're able to, uh, completely eliminate that. We can then block the gen, see what the vibes are, we can immediately hook over there, but I realized, wait, they're gonna go Sabo, so let me go ahead and go to a different one. <laughs> it's like, lord. It's a little bit much for one, for one survivor, but okay then. So we take a look around, we're like, well, we don't really see anything getting blocked. Um, so, and we're already at, like, two gens with two hooks. So I'm like, yo, like, this is just insane. Right, but like I've said, the game ain't over, right? Because you know you, you you have to still fight the good fight. You know what I'm saying? There's still a chance. So 
we figure we just ignore Nancy as long as we can because I don't want to give the UE free distance, especially with a character like this. Of course, dead hard when isn't it? <laughs> so yet again, a third chance already given to them. If it wasn't already the breaking free, if it wasn't already the the flashbang option, if it wasn't the sabo, now it's dead hard. Now there's two people body blocking. Like <laughs> like yo, it's like Lord. Like how like how many more chances? Now you have another body block after the other body block. <laughs> like yo. This is really excessive for no reason. <laughs> like, what the heck? So that's why we just hit the uh, lorry. Um, we hit the lorry real quick, and then we're like, all right, I gotta, I gotta see if I can um, look around here and see if I can figure out where they ran off to. But I figure, wait, wait, we're working on the gen. Let's get lorry goofy ass on the ground, and then we'll use our thrilling tremor value. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We face the wall. Because remember, there's two people like running in to go save, right? So that means that there's two people that can't go and, and, and sabo and flashbang and yada, yada, yada. So that's why we go over here. And we place them right there. Um, now, we're like, okay. We just got to take a look. We got Grim and Brace active now. We just got to look around, see what the vibes are. Like, they're probably by Shaq. Because that's where they always go to heal. So I'm like, all right, fine. Um, we can go for we can actually go for the Yui who's hiding in the locker, probably with inner strength or something like that. So that's why we're just gonna go ahead and give them a free hit. Because I know it's tempting. Oh, I could get Nancy, but no, I'm not gonna do that because I know that that, that those are one of the two that are trying to save. So they're kind of like teammates in a way, right? So that's why we want to ignore them for a bit, go focus on Yui while the other one's on the hook. So they're gonna have to split up. They can't continue to save, um, and then we just knock them down. So then we face the wall, which of course, as you're like, bro, that was that was two flashbangs, by the way. That that was two flashbangs. <laughs> it's like, yo, I was like, what the, like, <laughs> that's <laughs> like really unnecessary. It's like, lord, lord, man, that was like insane. But two flashbangs. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and place down some dream pallets. We got aura, um. For th whoever that is, so I was like, at least you know where somebody is. We also see scratch marks. I'm actually climbing up top here to try to follow the pathing to kind of see where they ran off to. They are injured, so we just uh, drop down here. We notice, okay, they're going toward the gen. Let's try to see if we can fake it, try to push them into another direction. You see she's hesitating, so that's why we immediately push the pallet out. I know oh, I'm getting stunned, but I, I have to pull the push out the pallet. I vault into them here. Um, because they didn't really see where I was going, so that obviously gives me the down. Um, and then we can just use Thrilling again. And then from there you can see what gen they want to work on. Um, and which it seems like there was, there's really no gens that are being progressed. We do see Leon in the background, that means Nancy's still injured. Um, we got Laurie on second state. There's li like, there's like no gens that are really being pushed. Um, we try to go ahead and uh, walk toward this generator so we can give that a kick. It, it is going quite a bit. Now, Nancy got fully healed, which means Leon is going to have to close in, I would say, at, at some point. Um, we, while we pretty much are in a great position, we pretty much can defend the generator in the middle and also the hook at the same time. So depending on which option they want to go for, we can immediately start to uh, get some free hits off of that. Now it seems, okay, cool, now we can just go ahead and down Leon, or at least hit him, I should say, and then start to la down Lori, I, I mean. Good lord. Um, and then, uh, start to follow Lori now. Now Nancy's the only one that can really go for a save at this point. We place down a, a fake pallet, um, just for, I guess, somebody else who wants to walk by. Um, seems like they're rushing to the shack. They are awake, though, so they know that there's no pallet. But we don't know they're gonna vault, so that's why we just down them immediately, pretty easy. And then we get Drilling to activate again. So, it, so it, at least in this match, we're getting some uh, some great value, to say the least. Um, so then we just go ahead and uh, drop back down. And uh, they should be eliminated. And from there, we're able to take a look around. Be like, all right, let's just... I, that wasn't the gen I was actually trying to go to. Um, but I committed to the fake teleport anyway, just in case. But uh, I went to try to fake the teleport toward the center. Um, because I had assumed that that would be the one that they would go to, also because thrilling. But you know, um, unfortunately, like like the thrilling had let go as I turned to press the button. Because a lot of the time, if you're fast enough, you can get it. You can have it highlight automatically. 
um, so that you can easily just, you know, immediately start to fake teleport. Um, which, as you see here, I'm actually placing down some droplets because I figure, yeah, this would be, this would be light. So that's why I placed on the droplets in this area, just to give me the options um, for an extended lunge if I need it, but also to give me some extra blood point gain. Um, and I figure I don't really need to chase Nancy, they're just running to some random corner. I need to find the one who's actually one hit away. Um, and uh, we actually noticed this gen is almost about halfway, so we started just kicking that. Now I figured... Now once again, I have to say, actually, like my add-on choice for like the uh, the block, I think I should have went for the Z block instead. I think it would have been better for like teleports, so you can actually see um, where the position like they're, they are when you complete the teleport. That would probably be way more effective um, than whatever I had going here. Um, they, try to, they try to BM for whatever reason, I, I don't know why, like they're just kind of losing their minds. But then they get, uh, they get finessed pretty easily, so I don't really know <laughs> what they're BMing about. Um, and uh, we know that uh, the Leon's probably on the generator. So here's where we use the event and knock down that goofball, hit him with the craziest no, no, no. <laughs> so that was hilarious. And then we get we use thrilling again to give us more value to see what the what the vibes are, right? So we're like, all right, so they're working on the gen on my right hand side. We're just gonna go ahead and place them there. We start to go ahead and fake the teleport, um, and then obviously they let go, which means that uh, which obviously I think it was actually Groom and Brace that activated um, because I heard uh, Leon actually drop down uh, behind me. So I swing to to you know reduce the stagger. And then we can immediately just down Leon. And I figured now is my opportunity because Lancey thinks I'm going to pick up Leon. I'm not doing that. So that's why we're going to go ahead and uh, just follow through. We'll place on a fake, a fake pallet for more points because I know she's awake. And uh, I had a feeling she probably had that hard. So I was like, let me just wait a second. Because like, usually when they run through the windows like that, staring behind themselves, um, sometimes they'll end up going for a dead hard. So that's why I wanted to time it just right. But they actually went for a spin instead. Um, which does mean that uh, we get a pretty good, uh, pretty good down. So now we're able to go ahead and hook Leon. Unfortunately, I can't really say the build uh, was doing as much. Um, a, a build like this would probably work better on a different character. Um, I thought this would work a lot to be a lot stronger on, on Freddy, but uh, as time has progressed, I guess it, I guess this has kind of gotten weaker, unfortunately. So. That is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Um, but we're still, you know, <laughs> getting some pretty decent value. We're also going to take a quick look at the builds as well, just to kind of see like what was going on, and then we'll just go ahead and end out the video. But for those of you who have made it this far, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things for me. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Become a member for exclusive content. Um, and also, uh, if you want to support the channel, check the description for different links. Um, and as you can see, we had very, uh, very sweaty builds here. Very sweaty. Very sweaty indeed.